road for four straight games. We went uh, we won one of those, you know, one out of four of those games. Um, it was difficult, you know, with the travel of, of being away from home and not being in our, you know, own environment. Um, I would have, to, would like to say though that, you know, I felt like from the uh, Marshall game uh, to the East Carolina game, we definitely improved. And both those games, we were right there um, to to win those games. Um, and unfortunately, we came out on the short end of it, but. Um, we've had, you know, had a really good day of practice off on Sunday. Um, we had a good day of practice yesterday, anticipating another good day of practice today. Um, we talked about, you know, um, not being able to um, control, you know, the past, but being able to control, you know, the rest of the season and to focus, you know, these next couple of games coming up that we have at home, to take care of business at home. So it's really important for us. I think it, it, it gives our kids a sense of uh, comfortability to be back in their own arena, um, to be able to be back around their own fans. Um, and I think that's going to definitely give us a lot of confidence going to these two games this weekend. It's going to be a, an awesome game. Um, that's actually, I, I believe, our matchup with uh, Marshall. Um, and, and that's going to be a very important game. Unfortunately, one of our greats in women's basketball passed away a couple days ago in Kay Yow, the head women's basketball coach at NC State. We've been there for 38 years and had battled with breast cancer for over 20 years. Um, and the, actually the name has been actually changed. People are still saying Think Pink, but it's pretty much now the WBC has kind of changed to the Pink Zone. So it's kind of more, um, I guess, basketball lingo. Um, but that game's going to be really exciting. There are a lot of things surrounding that game. Um, each player will be introduced with a uh, breast cancer survivor. Um, I believe we have some companies that are going to come in and gonna, that will do makeovers prior to the game um, with some breast cancer survivors. We're doing this in conjunction with um, the Gravy Hospital. So um, we'll have an opportunity, there'll be an opportunity for breast cancer survivors to be there at the game. Um, and, and it'll be just a really, really nice event. And we don't want this to be uh, just the only event that we do or the only thing that we do to promote um, awareness, the awareness of uh, the seriousness and, and, and just the, the tragedy that you know, breast cancer causes. But we want to make sure that we're in the community and we do a lot more with that. Tulane's a lot different this year. Um, you know, Lisa Stock is a great coach. She's been there for years and has had a lot of success. And they're doing very well right now. Um, they run the triangle offense. Uh, they've got some some uh, post players that can catch it in the high post in that triangle and you know look to make nice little drop bounce passes to the kids to their guards cutting back door. If that's not open, they can face and shoot the shoot the pull up jumper from the elbow. They can look to attack the basket from that point. Um, they're a very disciplined team. You know, they like I said, they've run that triangle for a very very long time, so they're they're pretty much prolific with it. They've got all the options down to a T. So we've got to be ready for that. We're going to work on some of that today. Um, they're going to throw a little bit of zone at us. Going to throw a you know, one two two at us half court. They're also going to throw a 2-3 at us um, defensively to kind of mix things up, change things up a little bit. Discipline team, young, um, but they have quite a few um, really good shooters, which makes them very difficult to defend because they can spread you out with their shooters. They've got a really nice post player that plays inside of Brittany Lindsay. Long, lanky, very athletic, gets up and down the floor very well, goes to crash the offensive glass. Um, you know, they've always been, you know, every year we've played, they've always been a force to, to reckon with, so we have to be ready for them. And, you know, they're, they're doing pretty well now. They, I think they're coming off of... Um, a, uh, a win, I believe, um, and uh, so they're going to be, you know, they're 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 on the they're on the positive side in terms of you know conference play. So they're feeling really good about themselves. They have a lot of confidence going. Um, so we just got to be ready for that, and our confidence has to be up. And the biggest thing for us, um, which we get, we have to do is defend. I mean, we're scoring enough points to win basketball games, um, but we've got to defend. It seems like we're getting down to the you know uh, five minute four five minute to four and a half minute mark in games, and we're kind of just letting things we kind of you know, letting things go. We're kind of straying away from our fundamental, um, our fundamental sets. We're trying to stray away from you know just some of the basic things that we really need to do, like taking care of the basketball. UTEP comes in on Saturday, and they're a very different team with three. Um, I call them mighty mites because their guards are you know five three, five six, five six, but very quick, very athletic um, combo guards that can shoot the that can shoot the three, that can get to the basket. So you got to play them for both. Very nice post player in Tamika Williams. It's not a power post. Um, but she has the ability to shoot the short corner jumper, the high post jumper, um, a hard hard kid to defend. She crashes the offensive glass. They've got some young, long, lanky, athletic kids they throw in there that, that they play. And they're going to look to run. They're going to look to get up and down the floor and run um, and attack the basket as much as possible. So the name of the game for us this weekend is going to be defensive rebound, which has been the whole year. I feel like a broken, I feel like I sound like a broken record. In fact, that I've been preaching that the whole year.